Here they go. Yeah. Additional details at 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Monday, the state was 7.9 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage this evening and continue rising to a crest of 8.2 feet early Wednesday morning. Flood stage is 8 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 8.2 feet on August 12, 2012. <laughs> HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood motorists should not attempt to drive around barricades or drive cars through flooded areas turn around don't drown when encountering flooded roads most of flood deaths occur in vehicles additional information is available at www.weather.gov the next statement will be issued this evening by 11 p.m eastern daylight time Yeah. Your coastal waters forecast. Yo, let's go. River flood warning. My first of this year and also, oh, great. Solar train died. Yeah, that was like one of the deadest sounding SBRs I ever had because you know the Reddick is kind of Reddick is kind of dead. Well, finally Melbourne issues one up and now flood advisor for leave. Dang, I put my five two one on channel four just in time. Sick, and this thing's on channel four. I need to plug my solar crank in so it doesn't die again, but, um, sick.
a portion of East Central Florida, including the following county, Lake. When? Until 8.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts, minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details, at 7.16 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. Minor flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the advisory area. Between one. Dang. That caught me off guard at first, because this thing went off for a warning. That caught me off guard. It's been a while since I got a weekly test on for K from KPS. Dang. 7.30, like, 7 they test. Wow. That caught me off guard. I thought there, like, there was some warning. I couldn't, I didn't see what there was when I was trying to get my camera. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. You know, trying to get my camera. But, um... Dang, okay. Must have still got a weekly test after all. Dope. Whoa! Okay! We're starting this now, okay. The National Weather Service in Melbourne has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Seminole County in East Central Florida, oh. southeastern Orange County in East Central Florida, until 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Avalon Park, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Orlando, Oviedo, Wedgefield, Avalon Park, and Bislow. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Uh, we have a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Seminole Special County, weathers. as well as southeastern Orange County. That will follow next. The National Weather Service in Melbourne has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Seminole County and southeastern Orange County until 4 p.m. At 3.30 p.m., oh, no, the thunderstorm off, was located near Avalon Park, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazards include 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Uh, impacts could include damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Location. Locations impacted include Orlando, Oviedo, Wedgefield, Avalon Park, and Bithlow. Once again, the National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Seminole County and southeastern Orange County until 4 p.m. Okay, I was trying out 103.1 to see, but okay. Um, yeah, that took me a while to get my camera out, but um, okay. SVR, kind of out of nowhere. Sick. I wonder if anything else will happen today. Probably, but um, we'll see. Again? The National Weather Service in Melbourne has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Volusia County in east central Florida until 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.58 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 7 miles southwest Whoa. of Daytona Beach to near Port Orange to 7 miles southwest of Edgewater and northeast though. at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage oh, to God. roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Daytona Beach, Port Orange, New Smyrna Beach, Edgewater, and South Daytona. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Large hail and damaging winds and continuous cloud-to-ground lightning is occurring with these storms. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Special weather. Dang, another SVR out of kind of nowhere. Dang. Okay, Melbourne. And also, I thought that Tallahassee SVR that I saw was one I could get, but now it's for... Franklin and Liberty, which I can't get any station for those, but, um, dang. 
two SVRs. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. That's weird. No, there's definitely two. <sighs> okay. We're done, we're done. I can't believe, wow, I have, it's been a while since I've seen an alert do that. It actually hit the alert timer, or the alert cap. Wow. But yeah, that's a big, that was a, the first marine warning was big. For um, Flagler Beach to Volusia Brevard, 0 to 60, and Volusia Brevard to Sebastian, 0 to 60. Wow. There for a last one. Well, 
I still got that. SVR for Alachua. Sick. There's 95 degrees. Produce a high risk of life threatening rip current and was located near Samson for 8 miles southwest of Stark, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect damage to roofs. Heavy rainfall. Rip soils are saturated from previous or repeated heavy rains. Stupid cash bleed, but SVR for lots of Bradford and Clay. If it's been FW for Dixie, yeah, and I actually got it on two stations. I remember WXA 60 serves Dixie. I would have tried it on KWN 38, but I don't think I can do that at the moment. But, um, <clears throat> wow, okay, Tallahassee. What? Sunshine Skyway Bridge, Courtney Kemble Causeway, Sarasota Bay, Port Manatee Reef, uh -oh. Tampa Bay, Hillsboro Bay. Sarasota oh, this is Bay double header. This is going to be an SBR, I think. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Uh oh. Here we go. I think this might be a double header. Yep. Bradenton Airport. For your 
Personnel's protection room to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until noon Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Manatee, Florida. Wow. What's up with there being so many double headers as of recent? I at least think this compilation that this is going to be in at least, but I'm glad I went outside to get this SMW because there's been a lot this morning, but I was just like, eh. But uh, yeah, double header. SMW, then an SVR for Manatee, and then also the SMW on KC38. Sick. SVR of the day. Well, that besides the Manatee one. Wait, what's this? Oh, this so this is on channel four, isn't it? Oh, yep. And then this I'm put on. Sick. Took them long enough. There's been like a million SPSs and now they finally issued SVR. Who would have guessed it would have been for Marion? Cool. Severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Jacksonville has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Marion County until 3:15 p.m. At 2:27 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 11 miles southwest of Santos to near the villages, moving north at 35 miles per hour. Hazard: 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny size hail. Source: Radar indicated. Impact. Expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Ocala, Fort McCoy, Citra, Lynn, Wearsdale, Spark, Anthony, Oklawaha, Moss Bluff, and Silver Spring Shores. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with these storms and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 3, 15 p.m. for the following county, Marion, Florida.
exciting entries. Locations and paths that include Bay Lake, Horizon West, and Lake Buena Vista. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 6.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Lake, Florida. The current time is 5.58 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The National Weather Service in Melbourne has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Lake County in East Central Florida, Southwestern Orange County. Oh, gosh. Figured that would happen at some point. Yeah. yeah, this didn't go off. Something was super static over here. And I don't know if anything was on channel 4 or not, but, um... Hello, SVR. <sighs> okay. You're going on. Great. Gotta love SVR. I'm sick. Oh, God. If unable to escape, face the shore and call or wave for help. River flood warning for the following county, Polk, Florida. Flood warning in effect from Thursday morning until further notice. What minor flooding is forecast? Where, Peace River and Bartell. When, from Thursday morning until further notice. Impacts at 8.0 feet, private roads downstream flood. Additional details. At 9.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Tuesday, the stage was 7.9 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage Thursday morning and continue rising to 8.0 feet Thursday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 8.0 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 8.1 feet on July 18, 1991. HTTPS www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood motorists should not attempt to drive around barricades or drive cars through flooded areas. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Additional information is available at www.weather.gov. The next statement will be issued late tonight at 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tropical weather outlook. Sunset Wednesday at 7.35. Sunrise Thursday at 7.13. Sunset Thursday at 
You can also visit our website at weather.gov slash checks. This concludes the weekly test of NOWA weather radio station West West at 85. The Tropical Weather Outlook for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. It's been a while since I've gotten a test on WF85, and today I actually somehow have the chance to, so I decided to take it. I was going to try to get the WNG522, but then WWF88 said no, nah, and kind of ruined my chances of that, so first weekly test today. Let's see how the other ones go. Oh, you suck, 382. The wind was calm. The pressure was 29.99 inches and rising. The game required weekly test. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA radio public warning system. Special build receivers are activated by the signal to warn of severe weather or other hazards. Tests are normally conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon, and again between 6 and 8 p.m. If severe weather is expected on Wednesday, the test will be postponed until the next day, well permitting. Reception in this broadcast, and especially the warning signals, can vary at any given location. Probably the last weekly test in my current setup, like in this room. I'm gonna be moving rooms and I'm gonna have probably a lot more space. So this is gonna be the last weekly test in this setup. So hopefully things will go better next time. But that sucks. The etons made it sound so dead. That thing failed. So basically all three etons failed. But uh this failed. Cloudy. The reception was probably foggy. That went off. This went off. Cool. Well, See what happens. Flood warning for the following county, Brevard, Florida. Flood warning in effect until 9.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. What flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected? Where, a portion of East Central Florida, including the following county, Brevard. When, until 9.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts, flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations is imminent or occurring. Additional details, at 7.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. Flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the warned area. 
between 3.5 and 6 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are possible in the warned area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Titusville, Rockledge, Cocoa, Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral, Sharps, Port Canaveral, Merritt Island, Jetty Park, and Bellwood. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. Marine forecast for the following. Dang, they actually did it. That's surprising. And of course, no Ruskin Weekly. <laughs> of course, no Ruskin Weekly, but oh well. Uh. Where is it? Focus, you stupid camera. You. Another one? Flood warning for the following county, Brevard, Florida. Flood warning in effect until 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. What flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected? Where a portion of East Central Florida, including the following county, Brevard. When until 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations is imminent or occurring. Bruh. Additional details at 8.59 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. Flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the Warren area. Widespread four and six inches of rain have fallen with isolated eight inches. <laughs> Additional rainfall amounts of one to two inches are possible in the Warren area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Titusville, Rockledge, Cocoa, Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral, Sharps, Port Canaveral, Port St. John, Titusville Airport, Merritt Island, Jetty Park, and Bellwood. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. Forecast for the Orlando NOAA Weather Radio listening area. Dang. Thanks for the freaking heads up, I am bot. Freaking stupid goofy camera took forever to start recording that. Yeah, I knew that once they started spamming rain reports, I'm like, yeah, this isn't good. But widespread four to six inches with isolated amounts up to eight inches. Dang. Yeah, they could. I don't know why they haven't already. Oh, there we go. Okay.
Okay, now let's we'll see if KPS or KIH will relay. Or not relay, but play it. River flood warning for the following counties in Florida, Lake and Volusia. Flood warning in effect from this afternoon until further notice. What minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Where? St. John's River near Astor. When? From this afternoon until further notice. Impacts at 2.3 feet. Minor flooding of low-lying streets and yards. Fox Road on Lake Astor. Excuse me. South Moon Fish Camp. Additional details at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Friday, the stage was 2.3 feet. Recent activity, the maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Friday was 2.3 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to remain steady at flood stage. Flood stage is 2.3 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood the latest tropical cyclone advisory at two okay um yeah In your lap cool yeah i know melbourne doesn't tell river flood warnings but ruskin does but i guess they don't for other offices so i guess i thought that's why they were going to tone him okay cool flood warning for the saint john's river near astor sick so yeah, I just wanted to record it just in case. I wasn't sure if they're going to tone it, but okay, cool. On KIH and KPS. Safety slash flood. River flood warning for the following county, Seminole, Florida. Flood warning in effect from this evening to just after midnight tonight. What? Minor flooding is occurring and minor flood is forecast. Where? Little Wakaiba River, Altamont Springs to end. When? From this evening to just after midnight tonight. Impacts at 28.5 feet. Minor flooding near the river in the Altamont Springs area. Additional details. At 5.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Friday, the stage was 28.8 feet. Recent activity. The maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Friday was 28.8 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to fall below flood stage this evening and continue falling to 26.4 feet just after midnight tonight. Flood stage is 28.5 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KIH 63 Orlando. No, in some term, including... Dang, I'm actually able to get KHB 32. Sick. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late tonight at 
Yo, I got I. Dude, they should that. Dude, I somehow got that. We, we, where is it for again? Wait, seventeen? I thought it was sixty-four. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be senior sixty-four. Interesting. Flash flood warning for Manity. Dude, that's my 600th capture. Yo. Dude, oh my gosh. Whoo. Well, what a, what a, what a way to get a 600th capture. Dang. Bro, yeah. Dude, I was in the freaking. Dude, I. Oh my god. <laughs> 